According to eyewitnesses, the armed men in military uniform stormed the Zongo settlement and attacked three brothers working at their backyard. According to reports, five more people were gunned down before the assailants fled the scene. The police later, in response to distress calls, assisted in transporting the dead bodies to the Vineyard Hospital. Two more dead bodies from Azanga and Nyorugu were sent to the hospital. That the people that are deployed in Boko to protect lives and property are the people engaged in killing the people of Boko. And we are disappointed because we want to find out if there is a state of emergency. We want to find out who gave that authority for the security that are supposed to protect lives and property to now destroy lives and property. I don't know what they are here for, but I can assure you that the laws are there to protect everybody. The laws are there to protect, and if there are war crimes, we will talk about it. Because in international war, people are arrested for committing serious atrocities as militaries. So we won't leave this on turn. We will ensure that we get the right information and get to the bottom of it. We want to know who gave that authorization for the military. It is not being done on one side. In both sides, we have all reported killings. And so we, the people of Kusa, we, the Kusasis, are demanding justice immediately. The police, however, declined to comment on the issue.